Hey everyone, on a link here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomba. Welcome to the finale. Last time we captured the final evil pig, but they all escaped. Unfortunately, they've run off, and we are unable to get to the last evil pig. We have cleared 121 events out of 130. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five more side quests to do. And it appears four more story events to do. Today, we're going to take on the last of the events, find seven friends to help us get to the true evil pig, and finish this game. Get our grandpa's bracelet back, finally. Alright, heading back into the underground maze. I want to take a look around here. And track down the digger who was digging a tunnel for us. They have finished digging their tunnel and there is now a path through here, making this relatively small maze even easier to navigate. Next up... That door is not going to open, is it? It's just never going to open. Let's see... There was a million-year-old treasure chest that I wanted to open somewhere around here. There it is. If we can just get to that, that would be really nice. Three hundred thousand AP. Very nice. Now there should be one more chest in the underground that we have not yet grabbed, and it should have a Buddha Mushi thorn. It's the last thing we need to grab down here, then we can get the heck out of the underground. And now that the miners have done a great job of digging this place up, we should be able to get to it. Is that it down there? Charity wings. And a Buddha Mushi thorn. Awesome. Okay, doesn't look like there's any more exits down here, but that's fine. All right, let's get out of here. Baron, bring me back to the Forest of All Beginnings. Now, unfortunately, we are unable to show off something really cool because I screwed up in like episode one and I didn't know it. Thankfully, we are able to still complete every event in the game. Uh, so there's an item you need to get for Mizuno called the Biting Plant Flower. So to make a Biting Plant Flower, you're supposed to take a blue fruit, one of which is supposed to be up here on these uh, pumpkin plants, and you're supposed to hit it so that it falls into the Biting Plant Flower's mouth, turning it in, or start into the Biting Plant's mouth, turning it into a Biting Plant Flower. Thankfully, even if though we've used our blue, uh, our blue fruits and are unable to do that, there was still a biting plant flower in one of the chests in the underground. It's just unfortunate that I was not able to show off that cool thing with turning, one, uh, turning a biting plant into a flower. Ah, chew. Hmm. You got you 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 got a cold. That's not so good. Here, I think I, I think I found some cold medicine underground. Would that help? Ah, uh, 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 hallelujah! I'm cured. You brought this cold medicine just for me? Okay, what's the catch? What do you want from me? Nothing really. Thank you. That's the first time anyone was giving me medicine just by hearing me sneeze. Here, take this. And we got, I believe, our final Vitality Max plus one. That should put us up to a full 16 health. Now then, let's start adding the ingredients for the candy into the pot here. First, the Budimushi Thorn. Looks like you're missing an ingredient. You still need the Biting Plant Flower for the recipe to be complete. Yeah, I know, I'm missing a lot of things. I haven't put a lot of things in yet. Be patient, please. 
Okay, biting plant flower. We're missing the silver powder. We're missing the molasses. We're missing the coca claw. Next, we need to put in the needle gator teeth. Thank you for reminding us at every step of the way. Did we get two coca claws at some point? And we got the golden candy. And with that, we have all five golden items. So let's return to the 10,000 year old wise man. We never found the million year old bell, that's unfortunate. It's probably somewhere around here, but it's fine. I bring you, sir, the five golden items. Actually, should I just talk to you? What if I just talk to you? Whoa, this glow, this shine, these have to be the five golden items. I can't believe you really found them. All right, then let's trade for my psychic fish, fair and square. The Psychic Fish goes with the Sacred Fish. I believe they both have the same effect. The Psychic Fish gives you wondrous powers, but one small mistake can be deadly. Listen carefully now. Using this fish will make you run faster and jump higher than ever before. But if you overuse it, you'll be diving straight down into the valley. Why don't you, uh, when you don't need the power of the fish anymore, you must use it again. That will return you to your normal primitive self. In other words, use the fish wisely. Don't waste its special powers, comprende? I wonder if there are any unusual fish here. All right, the psychic fish, similar effects to the sacred fish, uh, but also same effects as the strange mushroom that we got from mixing red flower and blue flower. Except now we don't lose, well, we do lose it when we die, but all we got to do to re-enable it is use the psychic fish again. And with that, we're going to plummet all the way into the bottom. Oh, dear. But with that, if we check our events, 127 out of 130, we have found every single event, every side quest is clear, all that's left are seven friends, a real evil pig, and grandpa's bracelet. Let's go find those seven friends. Starting off, we're going to head to Dwarf Forest, specifically to the Dwarf Village. Here we want to speak to the Dwarf in Blue. Hmm, what is it, Tomba? You and I are friends. I'll be right behind you. One friend found. Next, we're going to head to Bacchus Village. We want to speak to you. What? The final evil pig? No problem. I'll take care of the bozo. There's number two. Number three is going to be found at the haunted mansion. Just got to circle all the way around to the large keyhole room. Oh, you really do ma move fast with this uh, psychic fish. Yeah, I think the sacred fish might actually be the better power-up because it's this, but less overblown. 
You know, we never found out what that weird metal slab thing is up there. Or stone slab thing is. It's bothering me. I want to know. But there's like, you don't do anything with it. And it, <laughs> it makes me sad. I want to know what that thing is. All right, heading in here. We want to climb all the way up to the top. And find you. Evil pigs, gold, I'm in. I'm scared, but I'll go. All right, there's number three. For the next one, we want to head to the Y crossing. Off in the village of civilization. Listen, I just came back from the village of all beginnings. While I was there, I saw her, the witch. Her name is Mizuno, and well, she's really cute. Oh, I wish I could see her again. What? Did you say you wanted some juice? No? You're going to fight the evil pigs. Very well, I'll go with you. There's number four. Wow, you've done a lot for me. I'm willing to help you too. There's number five. You're not the one I'm looking for. I've already dealt with the flower tears, but thank you. We just need number six, and I believe number six is also going to be in the village of civilization. Perhaps up this way? Would you be our sixth friend? Is it the evil pig gate near the underground maze? If it's, if it's a favor for you, I'll do it. All right, we got six friends. And try as you might, you will not be able to find a seventh. But don't worry, the million year old man said if we could not find all seven, return anyway. We'll figure something out. Let's head back to the strange small room. Hmm, we still need one more. What shall we do? Baron is our seventh. Baron! Why sure, Baron is Tomba's friend too! Look, the gate! I it's opening! And in we go. It's time for the final battle. Tomba, you finally made it. I've been waiting for you. I'm the ultimate evil pig that created all the other evil pigs. Did you have fun fighting the others? I made those for people like you to have fun. That's right, to me this whole battle is a game. With you, Tomba, this whole world is like, like a gigantic toy box. This may be hard to understand right now. Anyway, let's have fun. Come and get me if you can. Meet the ultimate true evil pig. In a land of gold, he has the power to stop time. Which can be quite a threat, as you may have noticed. All right, I need to get you into this bag, which is going up the right hand side. So we need to keep you over here. Come up here, a little bit closer. Damn it, I try to get close and you freeze me. Hmm, bonking you doesn't seem to, there we go. We 
We just gotta get close enough and snag on to him before he can freeze us. No! Damn it! Don't you run away from me! Damn it. I hope it hurt, pig. You jerk. Damn it, we need to stop doing that. Bouncing right into that wall there. Oh, that freeze time ability is really, really dangerous. Really? I wasn't even coming at you that time. Gotcha. You get in that bag and you stay there. Ah, you made it! You've, uh, done an excellent job! Indeed, this continent will finally return to the way it was before. I guess he was just lucky. Heh heh, <laughs> come again. You are more worried about him than the rest of us. Don't want to admit it, eh? Well, what the heck are you talking about? Not in a million years. They say the memory is the first thing to go, you know, you senile old. Hey, calm down, both of you. Anyway, anyhow, we owe it all to this young man. His courage saves us all. Indeed. In the end, we have all achieved our goals. Well done, well done. What, you're heading back to your home already? Really? Well, just remember, our spirit will always stay close to you, Tomba. You can always come back here and count on us. Look after yourself. T take care, Sonny. Stay out of trouble. Don't get sick, um, what else was I gonna say? Now nah, whose memory's fading, eh, Gramps? Heh, <laughs> stay young, kid. And that's Tomba. Really great game. I love this game so much. And there's his grandpa. We got your bracelet back. Oh, I love this game. It's not it's it's not perfect. There's definitely some problematic aspects to it. Cough cough Masakari Jungle cough. Um but overall, this this game is a great weird strange little game and I love it so much. It's only about 5 hours to 100% complete it. And by the time you've just beaten the game, you're already, like, at a good chunk of the way to 100% completion. Because there's just... It, 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 it's... Gosh, this is such a good and weird game. I definitely recommend you play it for yourself. It's available for, like, 10 bucks on PlayStation Network on PS3. Absolutely worth it. And a whole bunch of fun. I will not be doing the sequel. You will have to fight me to make me play the sequel. I do own a copy of the sequel. Um, but you're gonna have to fight me to make me play it because I do not like the sequel at all. Oh gosh, I have been in the sequel. I have 100% of the sequel and I can, not good. It's not great. Um, as for next projects, uh, now that Tomba's done, I'm gonna be taking a break from having two Let's Plays at once for a little while. Uh, in a week or two, uh, we're gonna have at least a one-week break, possibly a two-week break, and then uh, Xenogears will take up Tomba slots, so, it'll, so Xenogears will be six episodes a week. Once Xenogears is done, we're doing our yearly Mario and or Zelda playthrough, and this time it's going to be Majora's Mask. And I'm very excited for that. Once Majora's Mask is clear, we'll get back to two episodes uh, or two Let's Plays at a time. But for now, we're 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 gonna clear out we're gonna clear out the existing big projects before before Majora's Mask happens. 
So I will see everyone later. If you want to support my channel, I do have a Patreon. A $1 a month allows you to vote on future Let's Plays. 99% of future Let's Plays are decided on by vote. Um, there's only one Let's Play a year where I will like specifically override, and that's the Zelda slash Mario title. Um, five bucks a month, you get episodes as soon as I finish editing and uploading them, which is usually about a month in advance. Right now, I'm trying to get to about as many as I can done, because right now I'm on winter break for, uh, uh, from university. So now would be a really good time for me to get very, very ahead of schedule, especially since I have a new roommate moving in soon. And 10 bucks a month, you get special mention at the end of each Let's Play. Currently, that's nobody, but hopefully that changes in the future. Anyways, I hope you greatly enjoyed Tomba as, even half as much as I did. It's such a weird game. I love it so much. And I will see everyone next time.